Hello, everyone. This is the Human Colony Saturday webinar. It is December 31st, 2016, the last day of 2016. And this morning, we are blessed to have Jim Charles joining us once again to channel. Good morning, Jim. Good morning. Hi, and hi everyone for joining. I'll quickly uh, read who we have here in the room. Um, it looks like we have a, a day joining us this morning. Angie, Carrie, David, Shaheen, Herkimer Diamond, Jim, of course, Johannes, Casper, Mark, Michelle, Nabila, Neil, Pete, Rhea, Sheer, Tran, Will, and myself, Bree. I'm also here with the wonderful Wendy. Hi, everybody. <laughs> Hello, I'm Wendy. Here. My house. <laughs> I, yep, I'm here at Wendy's house um, celebrating the new year and Woo! just all the, the incredible stuff that's happened in 2016. Um, it's been an amazing year, so I hope everybody is rearing and ready to go for what is upcoming um, with this new beginnings year. So um, to get started first, um, I know that we had a few requests for um, a few beings to come in this morning and join us. Um, we had gone through a few, which we already discussed. Um, were there any other requests? I think you just said Gabriel, Archangel Gabriel, or um, who did you say, Michelle? I'm sorry. Saint Germain. Saint Germain, Saint okay. Saint Germain. Um, and let's see, who else? Um, oh, there was a request for Takur. We did um, wonder what happened at the government meetings that just took place with um, extraterrestrials and other beings, um, also Birk Vanir, which was just a few days ago. Um, so uh, as far as anything else, are there any other requests before we get started? Somebody from Ashtar Command. Mm -hmm. Somebody from Ashtar Command. Okay, someone from Ashtar Command. Yeah. And if we have time, I'd like okay. to ask that we bring in Piotr for a minute to tell about his experience yeah. going through the light. There's about 350 people have watched that so far. Yeah. Hmm. Interesting. My house. Oh, I can't. Okay. All right. So, um. That's, that's pretty cool. We got some requests coming in. And uh, as far as the rest, I think um, I just wanted to announce really quickly, I, I believe Max might be channeling for next Saturday webinar, which is always 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time or Daylight Time, depending on, you know. Um, and that'll be every Saturday. So I think he is up next. And as far as other events or announcements, I'm not sure if there's anything else coming up. Um, please go to humancolony.org to be able to keep up to date on our events and announcements. There is a um, calendar on there with um, all of our events posted. Also, please, if you are feeling in a giving mood and want to contribute to us, we do love assistance with making sure we can maintain our website and keeping everything running. So we do accept donations, humancolony.org slash donate if you wish to give anything. Also, we are looking for transcribers, um, people who are able to transcribe videos for us, for the channelings that we do. We're um, working on books and other exciting things. So please, um, if you're willing to transcribe, please look on our website and uh, let us know. We'd be more than happy to get transcriptions for you so we can more easily put this out there for everyone. Um, with that said then, I think that um, it would be good to start with some lovely blessings for the day here for the last day of 2016. So um, if anyone would like to provide a blessing, uh, please put your, please let me know here on the side. Um, ooh, we have all these people jumping already. That's amazing. Okay, well, let's start. Nabila. Angela in the room here was going to go too. Angela. Oh, wonderful. Okay. All right. Well, let's start with Nabila. Um, I'm very excited. I don't think I've heard one from you yet, so please go right ahead. <laughs> Can you guys hear me? 
Yes. Today provides you with energies of new hope and blessings for the future and also provide you with protection, love and guidance. Remember that the new year will change things for you. There are new energies and new thought processes that are coming to you, each and every one in their own special way. Now that you know about the fourth dimensional energy and how it's opening upon the earth, you will find that there is much information for you and much understanding. Give yourself over to learning for a period of time so that you may be updated and up-energized to this new and wonderful era that you are living in and understanding as the third dimension moving into the fourth. That was beautiful. Thank you. Very strong presence there, Nabila, whoever that was. Yeah. Very strong. Yes. Yeah, I definitely felt that. Um, all right. Uh, next, I think we have um, Will. Happy New Year, everyone. Happy New Year. I this year will bring many new joys for you. Many of you will learn to leave your bodies and go other places. You will learn that the astral is somewhere for learning and for understanding. You will learn that the astral is your friend and that the fourth dimension is your abiding comfort. When there are times of trouble, you may escape to the fourth dimension for a short time to relax. And then on returning, you will be able to cope with third dimension in a very different way because you will understand that there is hope for the future and hope for all things in third dimension. Oh, this is a great time for your people and for understanding and for greater sensibilities. Be well and grow. Thank you so much. That was very interesting. <laughs> um, it looks like, oh, I'm Angie. sorry? Yes, Angie, please. Are you going to speak Aliyah? Yes. Oh, no, no. Uh, Aliyah. Aliyah. The greatest gifts may seem small. A tiny bit of faith will bring you into enormous prosperity if you believe. We are from a far distance. And without a belief that we could get to this place, we would have never found you. And so therefore, 
bring your faith into a greater understanding so that you may achieve great things. Do not limit yourself to the mundane. Do not limit yourself to things that you feel you can only accomplish in this lifetime. But have a greater vision so that you may encompass all the things that are truly yours. Find those things and become who you are in the greatest aspect of your shining light. Wow. That was amazing. Thank you so much. Did you say that was El Yaha or Eli? Eli. That was an Eli. Eli. Yes, they're that more was, like the a... snail like, frog like, snail like more. Ellie and Ken species, yes. Uh, they're the ones who enjoy working on headaches, right? Healing humans' Correct. headaches. <laughs> Isn't that they're interesting? They're always. Actually, I have to say something. People will, uh, both David and um, Angela, call me and say, there's somebody working on my head, and it's usually the LEI. So, or it's either LEI or Eliaha. One of the two. So they do work on the brain. Eliyaha is different though, right? Yes, Eliyaha is a God element. That's right under right. God, one of the seven God features. And we did just do an amazing webinar with them a few weeks ago, so you guys yeah. can check that out. That was wow, cool, really cool. Yeah, when they came through and they they love healing. They that's, that's their a, that's highest their joy. Gig. <laughs> that's their gig. That's so, amazing. so uh, um, there's some people that are darked out. Can you hit the button so they're bright out, brightened up again? Sure, I will brighten them up. Thank we'll you. keep them keep looking for those people. <laughs> We're good. So next, All right. it looks like we have a blessing from Michelle. Very good. My Shukutana Nene got the other day, Shukutana has at Tana. And I Shukutata added a co shot to the inna. Mosukata Anane, Okutana, a shit at a car. A man and a shakotana at the Tatsuka. And a Shukutata, and a hair. A man Happy New Year to the people on the blue ball. We do understand that you are moving forward and we will move forward with you. Stand up and be counted as a light worker. Do not let your light be dimmed or go out, but let it shine and let your planet turn from blue to white with the bright light of understanding, wisdom, and growth. Happy New Year to you of this wonderful planet that will bring us so much energy and so much hope for the future. Be well and understand that nothing that is positively done is done in vain. Wow, that was cool. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you, Michelle. Um, okay, and uh, Neil. Neil, please go ahead. Okay, thank you. I think it's got to be Syrian, so. She de te oko na tana ye so no roto loro sushia na teneke ya wasanaro u luturu yu u wushu ha ti u wana ya. Thank you. On a more serious note, we ask that you accept the power that is here for you. Do not let it lie. Do not just think that it is a blessing, but a blessing to be used and put into action. Power 
is at your fingertips and at your third eye today and for the new year. Thank you, Neil. Amazing. All right, lastly, Shaheen, please go right ahead. Tungota kahiala kasale kola na kashina kasala ka mokola kasina kaya ha kona no hala kisala kisala kala mokola kishiniki na takola kasala nikia. Be yourself. Be yourself entirely. Do not let the world block out your personal energy, for it is important for the light to become whole when you are whole in yourself. Shine your light of individuality, of rarity, of obscurity, of uniqueness. Shine. Thank you so much. Wow. Amazing blessings this morning. Yes. I'm so grateful for all of you. Um, they were very right. strong. Woo. Yeah. Very strong today. I know. The energy is just ramping up, man. Here we go. It started before we started. <laughs> so, all right, then. Um, I think we can move forward. And, Jim, we are just lo really looking forward to seeing who wishes to come through today and the amazing consciousness expanding conversations we can have. So <laughs> go, go right ahead. Um, first of all, I wanted to say it's, um, it's wonderful that we are going to be writing for those people who would rather read than to watch a webinar. They would rather what, uh, uh, read a book there's going to be some information that's going to be transcribed and put into book form eventually. It will take some time, of course. But we are working at that, on that, and Max and many of you can be involved in that if you would like. We need transcribers. We need those that will um, dedicate a little bit of your time to this project. If you're interested, let us know. There is a Yukolo book um, place on Skype. What is it called? I, I can't hear you, Bree. I'm sorry, what? Did uh, what is the name I, of the book site on the s Skype? Um, I think you have to ask one of us for the link for it. Um, so just reach out to maxathumancolony.org and we yes. can get you in the Skype group chat um, to be yes. a part of that. But it is an exciting time for us. We're growing, we're expanding, we're changing. The new energies are here for sure. For, and um, I see a, a beautiful change in a lot of people and a lot of energies around. So with that said, Let's move forward, and I'm going to do a meditation, and we'll see who comes first. And um, have a wonderful, wonderful webinar. Thank you, Jim. Greetings, I am Takur. Greetings to all and a happy new year as it is on your planet. I would like to speak very shortly and very humbly about the meetings that took place between December 21st and December 26th. They lasted a little longer than usual. But let me tell you, it was an interesting meeting this time. 
because of some of the political uh, um, things that have happened during the last year, there was a greater sense of urgency and a greater sense of protection from each different country. Many countries are more nationalized at this time, looking out for themselves and not looking at the greater good. And so this caused a little bit of a problem. You see, I believe that eventually for your planet, this is actually a good thing. It may not be a good thing for your particular United States, but it will be a good thing for the world that they are coming into an understanding that they need to protect themselves in some way, not from us. And they showed that they were not protecting themselves from us, but from one another. And therefore, this brought us into a understanding that they were looking at us a little bit for some words of wisdom, which we were able to give each and every one individually, because there was a greater sense of fear at this time. And so, not that that was a good thing in itself, but it was a good thing that they allowed us to speak to them in a more freer fashion about what we felt was a good idea for the, for the entire planet. So it changed our itinerary some. We spoke about world peace more than we had ever done before because your planet feels threatened by some of these political changes that have happened. And they feel that there are, is a more need to protect each and every one of the, the different countries in a different way. So we now are understanding of this. We have given them many ideas of how to remain in a more stable atmosphere worldwide. And that is a very positive thing. We do see that th because of this political change, the economic collapse that once was eminent has backed off because everyone is looking to be more secure. And so they're tightening their belts and tightening their understanding of who they are in the world. This is a very interesting and positive development. Now, as far as United States is concerned, it may not be the best time for you because all eyes are upon you. And when you are in center stage, your performance will be critical. All eyes will be judging and telling your story from their point of view, which may make you look or seem weaker than you are. You are not a weak nation, and you are not in a weak time, but they will judge you because of your choices for political office. And this will be a negative outlook for you in some ways because they fear your choices. And where there is fear, there is always criticism and there is always disparity. Now, do not be afraid because this is a time for you to stand up and be a part of the solution. Remember, you must always stand for what you believe is right. And there will be many times in the coming near future for this to happen. And do not be quiet and do not be afraid of your opinion because it does matter. And it is part of the universal energy. When you speak your opinion, you give the energy to the atmosphere make sure that it is positive and make sure that it will enlighten and not bring down or judge 
or be of any discouragement to anyone else. If you disagree with what is being happening, then stand up and say what you think should be happening, not tear down what is happening with others. You do not have to cast judgment in order to your, for your opinion to be heard, understood, and appreciated. There are also many other things that were discussed at these meetings. One of the other things was medical, of course. Many of you, I must give thanks that you spoke out about healing mankind's weaknesses as far as the medical side is concerned. Thank you for your involvement with that. And your involvement with First Contact, the first understandings of when we should come or when those should come to bring a full connection to the galaxy and to your world. We understand that your governments are now a little closer to a positive thought process in this way. They need protection. And they feel that if they, if first contact was given soon, some countries will feel more protected and safer. But of course, there are those speaking out against it still. But it is coming around to our side that we should not necessarily be your protectors, but perhaps advisors, counselors, only if you wish it. Now, there is understanding that we are going to be this way and not rulers or not conquerors or not those who wish to meddle deeply into your political offices. But on the outside, we would render some uh, perhaps good advice. And if you choose not to take it, that is your free will. And we have already offered some at this latest convention. Now, as it stands, things are very much the same as they were because of the change in political atmosphere. That was enough change for them for now. But it looks like there is a trend in our favor. Perhaps the June talks will be much more successful in some ways. Many of you who have spoken out in these conferences have made it very obvious how you feel about the world that you live in, the people that you trust, and the love that you have for spirit and for those that are helping you move forward. We love you too. And we will always be with you and always encourage you to be who you are. Now, governments got a little suspicious because they felt at this time that they should cast the same thoughts on us as they are casting on the world. And so there was a few hours where we were suspect of having many hidden agendas for wanting to rule the world, for wanting to take over and having uh, an agenda of control. The only control that we want is for you to be our neighbors, for you to hold on to us if you need us. We cannot come and protect you from yourself. We can protect you from maybe someone else, but not from yourself. So our agenda is just to be ourselves, to be who we are, and to help in any way that we can, which is not 
manipulative. And that is where we stand. Now, there were several other subjects that were part of this conference. I will take some questions, but please be brief. Okay, thank you, Takur. We're so happy to have you. Um, being brief, quickly want to ask, um, what about site-to-site? -site? Was that discussed? Site-to-site -site transfer? Site-to-site -site transfer was discussed in more than one way. It was discussed for medical. They discussed it first about bringing those that are very sick to the ships to have them healed or given medical attention but your government will exclude the population if we do this. They say they would only have their particular people want healing, and that is all they can chance for now. So therefore, we did not agree to it, because it is for all or for none. Second of all, for site to site, we have discussed particular people to come site to site, perhaps from the government first, so that they can see and investigate the colonies. Of course, they want to send military first, and we frown upon that because they bring weapons. If they bring military first, we would choose that they not bring any arms or weapons with them. But um, we are getting closer to an agreement on that first site to site, because if the military does come and deem the colonies as safe, then many of you will be able to come. But they will, ch they will be in charge of who comes and who does not. We are not in charge of that. And we said, and we're fully understanding of why they would want that. So we gave them that authority. If they want to take um, authority over who comes and who does not, that is their choice. But to stop all sight to sight, we feel uh, is unfair. But they will be getting back to us in the future, how they want to develop this program. They do seem like they are wanting to have some kind of interaction with us, but right now with only the governments and only the military. But we hope that that will open a door wide enough to bring many of you with them. Okay. Very interesting. Thank you. Um, so another question is, um, have hybrid children and that entire program been discussed in these meetings at any point? Of course. There are places on your planet that are being prepared for hybrid children, and your governments already know this. They are already aware of the hybridization program about 62% of your peoples would welcome it, but there is others that would not. And so that was a heated discussion at some point because they feel hybridization is invasion of, of who they are as a people. And we would only say to them, that only those that wish hybridization would get it. And if there was any chance that it would be harmful, we would not offer it. Okay, I have a follow-up question on that because I recently um, learned it sounds like there's been a little bit of a confusion on our part between the difference with hybrid children initiatives creating hybrid children, and the hybridization of humanity with the alien and other DNA. So um, I'm assuming both of those have been addressed at these meetings? Yes. At this point, we are asking for DNA from, 
your people for to create hybrid children. This was not a problem with your people because it is not human using human hosts. If, if humans choose to give their DNA to us and use alien hosts, they are fine with that, about 86%. But if you are going to use human hosts, it goes down to about 46%. They do not, many do not want aliens to use humans as hosts for hybrid children or hybridization of any kind. However, they did say it is up to each individual if they would like to give DNA to aliens for some reason. This did not seem to be a problem. Hi, Takar. Greetings. Can I ask a question? Very well. Hi, Takar. Can I? Blessings to you, my friend. Blessings as well. I'm just uh, want to ask a question about the hybrid children. Regular DNA strand or genetic makeup, for example, a blood group here on Earth, that is more how can I say, is more accessible. appropriate for the, yes, yes, yes accessible is. for the hybrid program. It would appear because of the way that humans were seeded from the past several millennia, and actually even millions of years ago, that your hybridization brings a greater immune system to most species once hybrid, uh, hybrid, the children become greater beings. Not that they are superhuman or super alien beings, but they are healthier, stronger, and smarter. But they are not yes. wildly advanced from that which is noted in the present cosmos. But there is a positive um, intellectual growth, a positive creativity, and a positive health benefit. Can I ask if this particular blood group, because there seems to be on the planet a bit of a hoo-ha, should I say, regarding negative it, bloodline and positive bloodline in people. Most Is that anything human, to do with that? Most humans are a positive bloodline. There are some in certain areas of the world that are not as positive for this program, but still can be used. I do not ah. want to point them out because it would be <laughs> causing a prejudice. But we do yes. manipulate the DNA to work for all humans. Yes, thank you. It's because I've just been interested in that subject and I think many other people have been interested in it because I'm of a particular blood group which is O negative and it seems to be, yeah, I think I've got hybrid children maybe to go. <laughs> you could tell me, I don't know. I would have I to ask have. Sengi. However, it is very possible if you have asked for hybrid children that it has been granted. We are very happy yes. with the program. We have now three major planets where hybrid children and families have gone. Palana, Maya, and Era. Beautiful, beautiful. All and they're well looked in after. The eighties area. Fantastic. And they're all looked after. The children are loved and they're blessed. Of course. They have alien blessed. parents along with their human parent or parents. And they are aware of them as soon as they are able to understand what parents are and understand that they have a surrogate or have some surrogate DNA. 
Beautiful, wonderful. That's lovely to hear. Thank you so much, Dakar. Blessings, Amazing. thank you. Oh, well, thank you. Very thank fun. you, Ria. Okay. Thank you. Uh, Takur, I know you said you had to be brief. We have a few questions for you. Are you willing to take them? Of course. Okay. Um, Neil first. Okay. Hello, Takar. Hello. Can you hear me? I am here. Yes, good. How are you? Hello? Hello? Can you hear me okay? Yes, I can hear you. Okay, very good. Okay, I wanted to know if uh, Trump if, if Trump was at the, the meetings as well. If Trump what? If he was at the meetings. He was asked to join the meetings. He was there briefly, but could not stay. Uh, okay, so what was his what was his reaction to seeing like all the aliens and stuff like that? He had found out about aliens with his briefings with Barack Obama a while ago, but his belief system did not really encompass all that there is about what is out here, and this gave him a greater understanding, but also. I believe it gave him a greater fear because he is going to have to deal with us in a very personal way also. Yeah, okay. Okay, and the other thing I wanted to know about is, is that were the ships discussed and if, if so, what was, what was said about the ships? The ships were always, are always discussed and the program continues in the same way as it did before. However, there are greater concerns about how these uh, ships are going to be used. Many want to use them for commercial use as well. The governments will not allow this, but the smaller, some of the smaller countries would like to use them for personal use and this is being uh, discussed in many different ways. Okay. Okay, that's perfect. Okay, and thank you very much, Dakar, for everything. And much love to you. Much love to you. And I do have some information for you on a more personal level that I will speak later. Okay, perfect. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you, Neil. All right. Um, we have a few more questions, um, but I did quickly want to ask if um, there was any information that came through in the meetings regarding the colonies. In I mean, I know you said a little bit about the colonies, but do they yes. truly understand at these meetings what is actually happening? I do not think they fully understand, and that is why they want to come. They want to bring military to the colonies so that they can understand exactly what is happening there and experience it for themselves. Now, it has also been discussed that there will be another colony, Colony 7, for just this kind of boardroom discussion, if you will, on the colony level. The Colony 7 would be a boardroom discussion area with political figures. Now, we have not made Colony 7. We are sort of opposed to it because it is not of all the people in some ways because not every government or every country would want to come and visit. And not every government or every country even believes that the, the uh, colonies are valuable. So therefore, having set aside a colony for this kind of action seems anti-progressive to us. Okay. All right. Thank you. Um, all right, Sheer has a question. Hello, Tiku. How are you? 
I am very well, Sheer. How are you? I'm very well. When you say that the army is going to pick uh, who's coming and who's not, so if I'm from Israel, the army is going to pick if I'm going to go or not? Yes, your government will be deciding. However, it has not come to that point yet. There is still much more discussion, I am sure, about how and when uh, first contact will happen first, and then they will discuss who will go. But, being as you are in Israel, you are one of the most active governmental areas at this time. There is much action going on because of the Trump administration coming. They very much fear it because most other presidents were in favor of Israel and giving them what they wanted. But now, Trump is not necessarily uh, in favor of all of Israel's thought processes. This is worrisome for the entire world for Israel. Okay, so how is it about to affect the military point of view? Of we do not know. There is many decisions to be made and he is no longer, not yet in office. Okay, and let's say that if someone is from England and England is opposing to side to side for the citizens, but you move from this particular land to another land, is that could be considered on that land? It, it is individually undetermined at this time how we are going to do, deal with that or how they will deal with it. Um, this has not been discussed in that particular form. Okay, and when is the next meeting? It will be in early June. Okay, thank you very much and much love to you. Much love to you. By the way, how was my speech? Excellent. And thank Nivi for me as well. <laughs> I should. Also, Ray Mayor was there. Thank him as well. Yeah, okay. Interesting. Thank you. All right. Um, we have a question from Amran. Uh, he's asking, I astrally teleported to a planet where many astral children were. They greeted me all very lovingly. They were telepathic. Could you give me any yeah. more information? What planet was it and yeah. why all the children looked humanoid and such? I believe you were probably in one of the sections of Polana, a planet that is new to hybrid, hybrid children and new to hybrid families. This, it has been very successful. And the ones that look more human have gone there. Um, it is not that they all look human. There is a section where all different kinds of uh, hybrid, hybridized children live but there is a section that is very human looking and these they are not segregated but they want to hang together in the sense that they are uh, different together and it is not that they do not have friends that are in another section but they mingle all the time but there is a section in Polana where the parents are you yield Pleiadian, and they have more human-looking children than, say, the Lyrans or the Pandorians or the Syrians. It okay. is not a segregation, let me make that very clear. Yes, of course, that's not how it works. <laughs> oh, wonderful. Okay. Um, and uh, let's see, it looks like he, um, Blue was, or Amran was also asking what his connection was to these children in particular. Um, he does have one of these children. 
and it, his child is on Palana. It, it is a female. The name of the child is Escala. Okay, thank you. All right, um, we have a question next from Shaheen. Greetings, Shiny Sean. Greetings. Um, I just wondering. I live in Melbourne, Australia. So, is it I'm going to do the first contact in here, or or someone else is going to? Do it? Because I there feel will, I'm doing it, or I don't know. Actually, there are twelve locations for first contact, and this is so that no one will be left out. The ships will be quite large, and the area that it will. Um, bring people from or people will be able to see from will be quite a long distance. Now it is impossible for everyone on earth to see every location at once. But of course, and there will be even some that won't be able to see a ship from where they are, but they will know of it because it will be great news. All right. okay. I know there has been a movie that has just been made where there was 12 locations also yes. uh, designated. The movie and was this, called Arrival, and it was amazing. And therefore, um, long before this movie was made, we had decided on 12 locations. And we are surprised that they also chose 12 locations. This seems rather logical. Uh, so I have a question about that, Dekur. Um I, I have heard some information about us in the astral, on the colony sometimes being a part of some of this information that comes through to the human collective in these different artistic ways or whatever, such as exactly. movies, channeled information. Were we possibly a part of helping present this galactic language in Arrival and the harmonious way that they introduced all of this stuff? We are hoping that we had something to do with that, yes. We believe that they must have had some contact with human colony because human colony existed far before this movie was ever thought of however they I, did make it very original and change some of the thought processes that we would have might have wanted to add to it but yet all in all it was a very positive movie it was very positive. I must say I'm vouching for this movie publicly because it showed harmonious results of when people don't freak out and, you know, live in the fear-based reality. Um, it was so beautiful the way that they did it. I cried so much. I went to the movie alone and I'm really glad. So that makes a lot of sense. They represent, they talked very briefly about parallel realities and you know time not existing it was great so please everybody see that movie and support that they movie. They also spoke about galactic language but not as much as we would have liked. Yes that was very interesting they I was so happy they brought it up but you're right I mean there's they did it tastefully you know they didn't try to go into a big long explanation that didn't make sense so well the um, thing is they do not understand how galactic languages are are working and how many there are so it was good that they did only as much as they could understand yeah it was really well done um so it's very exciting so thank you for information on that. Um, we have a few more questions. Um, it looks like Chris is asking about her newest hybrid child and if there was surrogacy involved and... I'm here. Of course. I'm, yes. I'm here. Of oh, course. Hi, hi, thank you. There's definitely surrogacy. I do not know of which 
uh, species your child was what species did you ask for um i think it intermingled with with silver pleiadian and i don't know where it is or what it's doing or what it's for and i do believe i am a surrogate often and i want to know for who and why for the pleiadians yeah. uh, they have taken they only need to take dna a couple times and then they have enough for many children actually and they have enough for many serums of positive natures also it is not necessary for them to come and take dna all the time uh but they do visit possibly and uh probably examine you and make sure that you are healthy and still good and if they did ever need more dna that you would be a a, a prime example of somewhere they would go however for your particular dna to have a child they would only need to visit you once and also have some left over for developing serums for those species that need help do you know where these pleiadian is it a colony or is it an earth like a pleiadian earth um where are these is, children going? Yes, there, of course, Pleiadians exist in other places other than the Pleiades because they have traveled to many other galaxies. But right now, where these, where it is that you are understanding is in the Pleiades system. In a planet, and it is not a hybrid planet, actually. It is a planet called Gerashaw. And Garishaw has the silver Pleiadians. Of course, there's some silver blue and silver aquamarine and silver uh, uh, green kind of beings. And so uh, you, that is where they are. Great. Okay, thank you. That makes so much sense. Thank you very much. You are welcome. Super interesting. Thank you. All right. Um, it looks like we have a question from David Allen. Are you able to unmute, David? Uh, yes. Hi. Uh, yeah, just, it is one, it is uh, like a while back, it just, I'm not sure if it was influenced or not, but it just, I remember being on a ship with two entities with two children. Yes. It, it, you were taken in the astral. I don't believe you were there physically. I'm happy that you remembered it. I see, I love your icon with the golden sphere in his, in his hands because some people on your planet have this within their stomach and you see it's at the stomach region. And when it's in the stomach region, it is a help to the entire body. And that is where the golden sphere is placed if it is put into a human. And yes, you were on a ship in the astral, and the ship was actually a family unit ship. It was one of the smaller ships. It was, um, do you know what species it was? Can you guess? It is, I remember just one of the, just one of the, like, adults having blonde hair, but I knew that it wasn't human or something like yeah. that. It was the Nords from the Pleiades, yes. Yeah. Okay. This was a family unit ship. The Nords have become very different since the time of your second world war they have changed thought processes several times because uh they were a, essentially a warlike species at one time and now they are moving away from that thought process of course there are still some in their species that are very uh war oriented however they have decided that this is not uh, what they want to be as a unit or a species. So many of them are uh, going through some mental uh, and societal changes. Okay. Uh, yeah. 
it makes like a little bit more sense of what I had saw during that time. Is yes, they were they were good looking creatures, were they not? Yeah, it's just from what I remember, they just they were. For humans, they would be good looking creatures. For me, yeah. they're okay. <laughs> It is like, it just, I really can't pick out too many. You can't really, really remember too much yes, information. You were, you were in astral, so you brought back quite a bit more than most people do in astral. So congratulations. This means you are more attached to your subconscious than some people. Oh, yeah, thanks. <laughs> Okay, wow. Thank you. you. Um, we have two two more questions for you, Chakur, and then um, we can probably move forward. Is that okay with you? That is fine. Wonderful. Okay. Um, it looks like we have a question. Can I ask one question? Um, one second, Amber. Um, first, we have a question from Nabila. Yes. Hi, Chakur. How are you? Greetings. I am fine. How are you? Yeah. I'm doing good, thank you. So my question is, uh, what am I doing in Astral at the moment? I was told by someone that I'm helping uh, a particular someone out, and I'm just curious if you can give me more, more info on that. More, so, you're helping someone out, but not from this planet? No, from this planet. You're helping someone from this planet in the Astral? Yeah. Ah, one moment, and I will have to check. Okay, one moment. Thank you. They are saying that you are helping a relative. Do you have a, a relative that is ill at this time? Uh, okay, then. Okay, then. Cool. That, that was my question. Yes, you Thank are helping a relative. And this relative is accepting your help. But they, do, they are very proud. And they do not like to be seen as weak or helpless or whatever. <laughs> and, yeah, that makes uh, sense. And uh, so therefore you are helping in the astral and they are allowing this kind of help. Cool. And as for my dreams, what am I doing in astral there? In your like, dreams, you have many different dreams that are symbolizing um, uh, what you, that you are moving in a great direction. Uh, you have uh, uh, the dreams that you that you are surrounded by light occasionally. Is that correct? Yes. And these the light is to is that you are moving into a light oriented uh, environment and profession. Awesome! Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. Hi. <clears throat> Uh, it's true. Okay. Who is yep, next? Sure. My mom, uh, my mother asked if you can assist her in with her eyes to help her medically. Yes, we will be there. I we have already done several scans on your parents, so therefore we know exactly what to do. Okay, thank you very Just much. Make sure that they accept them. When they come, they will be when they are in their restful state. Okay, thank you very much. And okay. for her needs as well. Her needs are being helped little by little. Hello. Okay, thank you so much. Um, hi, Pete. It sounds like you have a question. Um, I was going to ask to see um, who else wanted to come through next. Um, I, I believe that there was a couple more questions. Go ahead. Okay, Pete, um, please go right ahead. Hello, Takar. Hello. I am very blessed to be meeting you as a person, as an entity right now. I'm sending and my I love to you at this you much. Well. I'm blessed to meet you as well. Thank you. Thank you, and I'm glad so much that I have, I have a, 
and right now I have the opportunity to chat, to talk to you, with, Thank thanks you. to Synchronicity. What is and your question? My, my, quest, my question is more of a uh, request in a sense. Correct. Go ahead. I would, I would like to ask if I could have a some type of meeting sometime this year. A meeting? If I could ask. Yes. We can meet in astral anytime you would like. Yes, please. Because I would like to... Wait, thanks to my astral wife, if you can sense her from here, is that I can she's, her, yeah. gui she's here, she's always guiding me, protecting me, and also being my teacher. I would like for her to help me out a bit with, your, with you as well. Correct. So that way I may continue on making the next step. My first step was making contact with uh, several with an entity that came through a long time ago in the year 2011. Correct. So it was across the street and it was more of a, a big, how you would say, a big message to me in this sense. Yes. Very well. I understand. We will meet and discuss these things at a later date. Thank you so much. And I would love to... I would love to continue on so that way I can meet even further, so that way I can see my kids. Wonderful. We will discuss this and we will have many things to talk about. Okay. Thank you, Thank you Pete. We will catch up soon. Um, all right. Next, um, it, it sounded like we have a, have a question from Amber and then we can move forward. Yes, Amber, your question is important. I was Hi. hoping. You Hi, I'm new here, and then I just wanted to say hello, and I hope that my work will help out many people and not scare them away, because mine's really out there. Your work is very powerful, so do not be frightened of Amber. She does some very lovely healing work and ascension work. She brings you into your full body and full likeness of who you are, your God sensibilities. Do not be frightened of this. It is a lovely increase in energy. Thank you. Namaste. Kia korata shun foratu. Bon dia sa. Thank you so much, Takur. Um, I believe we are ready to move forward, yeah. although I wish to keep you around always. We love you so much, but you know how this goes. <laughs> yes, I do. And have a wonderful day. Namaste. Many of a good new year for all of you. Thank you, Takur. We love you. Namaste. Thank you, Takur. Thank you, Takur. Thank you, Takur. Thank you, Taku. Blessings. Thank you very much. Many hearts and blessings from my family to, my, to you, Takar. Okay, let's let Jim bring through the next. Yeah. Uh. I am Piotra. Hello, Piotra. I just come to say thank you for helping me to know that my fear was not valid that I can move forward and I am in a good place now. Good place now. Thank you. That's all I come to say because I was so alone before and now 
I am with the people that very much care about me. And there is God the figure there too, but I'm not worthy to speak to him yet. <laughs> they tell me that I'm silly, but I have feel many things that are very good here and I want to thank you for showing me that it was right to come to the light and to express myself to all those on the other side. Ah, and I see your face. I just wanted to ask uh, one question. Do you have the freedom to leave if you wish? And were you punished in any way? I was not punished. And I, who would want to leave? There's no reason to leave here except to come back to another place. But for now, I don't want to leave, no. I could leave, but I don't want to. Thank you. We just wanted to know that you were happy and safe. Blessings to you. Namaste. No. Thank you. Mm. Mm. So you need information from Ashtar Command. Yes. What kind yes. of information are you seeking? Hello, hello, hello. Yes, Ria, go right ahead. You requested Ashtar Command. Yeah. I I did, I did, and thank you so much for coming through. May I ask? You are welcome. Can I, can I ask your name? Hello, my friend. Kashonka. Hello. Kashonka. Kashonka. Blessings to you. I am Ria. Ria. I have Greetings. such a connection. Greetings, my friend. Everybody Your energy here, level for Ashtar Command has would, reached its ultimate. Thank you. Can you talk to me a little bit about that, please? Your energy levels. There All are those of, yeah. on your planet that are in, attached to the different areas of space that are above you. Ashtar Command can identify with some unique individuals, just as Gurkfiknir will identify with some individuals and the, the Council of Nine, etc. There are some spatial areas and committees and alliances that connect fully with certain people on your planet. And you are one that connects with Ashtar Command. So therefore, wow. you have been put in a place of energy to help us move forward. Our, our purpose, you know already, and we are only one of many interlocking or intersecting purposes for this planet to move forward. So therefore, as we move forward together, your energies will be connected to our thought processes and our actual ideas. Not that they are greatly different from others, but they do vary in cer certain areas. And we do vary and are unique from the others. But in the sense that we are not harmful that is true 
please. We are only here to help and to bring positivity in the way we feel is greatest for Earth. Fantastic. You heard my call. They heard my call yeah. today. Yeah. Oh, wonderful. I was calling. I was, I know I speak often. I, I'm often speaking to you. You hear me telepathically. You, you hear me. There are many that hear telepathically and with their minds psychically. Yes. The energies are such that your fourth dimensional energies are increased. Your brain is on yes and not on no. And therefore, it can connect. Fantastic. Does that make sense? Do, absolutely bless you. Thank you. Do um, I often visit the ships in the astral? Do I come to see you? Do I... You are one of our members. So yes, you come to see us. We are with you at times. And therefore connected in purpose. In many things. My memories, my memories are coming back. It is to be, memory is for your use. Mm -hmm. You see, without memory, there can be no future. Mm -hmm. I, I feel often I am walking around the ship with a particular being he's very tall he's got long beautiful long blonde white hair and big heavy boots yeah and i'm often talking to him often all the time we walk together what who is this person he is someone in our staff we have many different species here and many humans are joining us Mm -hmm. His name is Quack. Quack. Some of our names are difficult to speak on your world. They can only be partially correct. Quack. 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 I believe that is That's the closest beautiful. you can get. Are we connected in some way? He is your representative, brings your information to you, and brings your information to us. Beautiful, beautiful. Am I Palladian? Am I Syrian? You have much Palladian in you, yes. Six percent. Six percent. This is why you have Pleiadian representative. Have I uh, a purpose? Obviously, a purpose, a mission, a job. Not at the second, but there will be work for you, and we will represent you on Earth as well. Brilliant. I've always Thank believed you. I had a mission. Thank you. Yes, a mission is yours, but not for the second. That is very, that is very interesting. Um, I do have some questions for Ashtar Command, please. Thank ah. you, Bree. Thank you. Oh. There has been a lot of strange information that has been said to have been channeled from Ashtar Command to humanity in regards to lots of weird stuff about planetary evacuations and all this stuff. Can you please elaborate on your it, perspective? It is encrypted information, not to be taken literal. 
we have our reasons why we must encrypt what we say to humanity. Do not take it at face value because that is not the truth. The truth is that we must not let the governments know what we are doing in some ways. So therefore, encryption and symbolism is necessary to get through to the important people that know exactly what these messages mean. Now, the when is that channel these messages may not understand them, but they are given out to those that do. Okay, interesting. Thank you. Um, there's a lot of questions as far as um, who is a part of Ashtar Command and what does Ashtar Command do? Ashtar Command is a representative of the galaxy, the universe, for goodness, for pushing forward humanity in a way that we feel is necessary. Um, the people that are in Ashtar Command are identified. They know who they are, they feel our energy, and are connected by our ideals. Okay. Um, are, is it true that there are what we would consider angels to be a part of Ashtar Command also? Angels will assist, but they cannot be members because they are not part of this realm. That makes sense. All right, yeah. Not everything was adding up there, and it's been weird for me. Um, also, all this stuff about Lord Sananda being a part of Ashtar Command. Can you elaborate on that, please? A connection to Yeshua, something like that? Lord Sananda is also not part of this realm. Lord Sananda is another name for many entities come together to be one in the thought process and ideals. Your Yeshua is one of these people that will assist us with the portion of his goodness and spirituality that fits with our particular agenda. He does not embrace it entirely, but yet he is with us in the positive forms that he agrees with and that he moves with helping his people. Do you understand? Ashtar Command is just that. Many associates together, working as one to build a greater un universe, a greater world for you, and connect your thoughts one to another so that you may unify in a way that is peaceful and spiritual in many respects, but also individual. We do not want you to think that we are trying to create robots, or create a unification that is for our purpose only. But we need you to understand that Ashtar Command is for all people and not just for ourselves. Of course, we do feel that we are helpful and we are to be thanked, perhaps but not to be worshipped. Okay, yes, that's very understandable, and we do appreciate the help, absolutely. Um, thank you. Um, it's good, to, especially for me, to get some clarity on some of this. Uh, it's clarity. weirdness. <laughs> Many have no clarity. Yes. The reason I speak clearly to you today is to dispel any rumors that we are not for you. I appreciate that very much. There's so much stuff out there. Um, okay, so then we had a few more questions. Um, 
Let's see. I just, I quickly guess I wanted to clear up. Does Astra Command also work with, work in these government meetings? Are they a part of these as well? They are a part, but not always verbally. We are to show support. We are there to show that we are interested in the thoughts of your people, but not necessarily to speak because this is not our time. We will listen, gather information, and support, but not necessarily at this time speak. There will be a time for us. Okay, thank you. Um, are, do you have a particular name? Are you an individual, or are we speaking with the whole collective, Ashtar? No, it does all right. Okay. <laughs> a name right. is not important, even though I already gave it. Oh, I'm but sorry. I am I must not have to be identified separately from my people. Okay, okay. All right, thank you. Um, we do have a few questions. Uh, Chris has a question. Hi, thanks again. Um, I, hi, I connected in with Ash, Ashtar Command in 2010, and a lot of psychic stuff and UFO stuff did start happening for me. Um, can you tell me what I'm involved in or if I'm still involved with you guys or in what way? Yes. You see, when you connect to the energy of Ashtar Command, then you become a part of what is happening all around. When you disconnect that energy, then things will go back to your third dimensional thought process. And so therefore, that is what has happened. You are not necessarily connected yet again but you can if you wish. Thank you, that makes great sense. Um, I do still feel like, yeah, there was a whole, there was Our a whole never leave you, but you can connect more directly, I should say. Yeah, okay. Um, great, thank you so much. Thank you. Great. Thank you. Okay. Um, we have a question next from Krellick. Uh, yes. I don't really have a question. It's more of a, a request. I just wanted to request if I could maybe go aboard and visit Astar Command in the Astral Plane. Astar Command is in more than one place. So we might take you one place. And there is still many things to see. Yes, I'd like that is all that is all right. Request approved. Yes, thank you. I'd like to see as much as possible. Yes. Okay. Thank you. Um, Sarah has a question. Hello, can you hear me? Yes. Well, thank you for coming. Now, my yes. question is, I have two, actually. One, have I visited your ships and your groups? Um, I seem to be remembering thoughts of military action. So I'm wondering that if that was with your group. Really there, yes, but the I'm not sure what action you were observing. Meaning, some humans were being trained. Of course, this is by their request. They <laughs> want to be trained. They want the discipline. They want the structure of training and they want to be active. You see, we do believe that there will be a time when we need to be active, whereas some other alliances are only peacefully engaged. 
Right. So that was with you guys then? Yes. Okay. Very well. And the second question this I This is had, a divide in the ideals that I speak of. In what way? In what way? Some are only for peace and will not interact in a, a protective manner, but we will. That's what I thought. Very well. Um, the other question is, you were doing hand movements, and those hand movements were shouting out frequencies, and I wanted to know if it's possible for you to tell me what those hand movements were so I can understand cognitively, because I'm feeling the frequencies every time you're moving your hands. Yes. These are one portion galactic language for those that are telepathic and do not speak, and some for the children who do not speak. And the frequencies they are sending out are the connective frequencies to our people so that you may understand that we are friendly and that we too have the energies of connectivity one to another and throughout the universe. These frequencies sending out are the frequencies of the planets in your solar system, also the nearby stars. Okay. And you see the distances mean nothing when the energy is strong. Energy from one place to another can come very quickly when given the right frequencies to come. Yes, so you're broadcasting information out to people on this planet and the galaxies. That's pretty interesting. Very good. Yes. Because it was just so overpowering, I said, let me ask. <laughs> and it is that not everyone can feel these frequencies, but they do exist and are very strong. Yes. 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 Continue. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Chukawat. You're very welcome. How interesting. Um, Kina has a question. Kina, are you able to wait one second here, Kina? Um, okay. Kina, are you able to unmute? There you are. Ah, yes, thank you. Uh, thank you for coming. Hi, everyone. Uh, I would like to know uh, what does it take for uh, us for remembering our astral travel and uh, if it's uh, uh, advised to transmute in uh, 5D, if we can, thank you. If you can transmove into what? Um, yes, it, se there, it seems like how are we able to better remember our astral memories, oh. correct? And then um, how are we able to better transcend into the fifth dimension, right, Kina? You are already moving into the next dimension, whatever you want to call it. It's the next dimension. The next density has already become apparent to the world. Teraha is the next dimension, the world on top of your world that is in the next density. Now, to become better acquainted with it, of course, you must 
just ask for the guidance to get there, to remember it and to understand it. Meditation is necessary sometimes for some people to intention that their fourth dimensional energies become aware of all the connections that is around them. You see, you have fourth dimensional energy in the brain that has been activated, but it is not always connected to other things. So intend that it is connected to the next place, the next thought, the next advancement, the next information. Okay. Yes. Interesting. Thank you. Okay. Um, we have a question next from um, Shaheen. And and how uh, remember? Oh. Level. And what yes. was the other um, How how to best remember our astral travel memories? Get in touch with your fourth dimensional energy. Like I said, the stronger it is, the stronger your connection to your all things fourth dimensional. So intend it to be connected stronger. All right, that I makes sense. Ways to connect to it. Yes, and it definitely helps that we are floating through a fourth dimensional energy cloud egg, it as I like to call in it. In thirty-three or thirty-four days. Okay, interesting. Um, what do you? Th what are the guesses as to what may happen after we're out of this fourth dimensional energy cloud? Or is it going to be a big yeah. shift? No, you're going to realize that there was so much fourth dimensional. You, you will feel the third dimension a little stronger, of course, because you are back into it in a fuller way. But you will re also note that you are lighter <laughs> and that your thought processes have changed. You will never go back to your third dimensional pure thought processes. Yeah, I believe that one. <laughs> All right. Okay, uh, Shaheen, you have a question? Yes, hi. I'm just wondering. I've been studying to channel and stuff, and I'm just wondering who's uh, and uh, who who's my guides and what they are, what's their name. I just need a bit of details about them. You, I cannot give you the names of your guides. They must tell you themselves who they are because that is their way of introducing their themselves to you. But I can tell you this, you do have some special guides and they are going to be with you in your special mission. And also, they are attached one to one is attached to ashtar command but w the others are not at this time but one particular one is okay thank you all right well um we thank are you. Pretty much out of time here, so I think we should probably wrap up. Are there any last things you would like to tell humanity? Yes, one last thing. Do not be afraid to change. Change is inevitable. I find that your people find change very difficult. They do not want to be part of something that they don't know what it is. They do not want to be part of things that may seem crazy or out of the ordinary. But you see, there are parts of each human that are already out of the ordinary and more powerful than they even imagine. But they have to unite and link and connect 
to those areas so that they may know all things that are themselves. Do not be afraid of who you are. Because who you are may be somebody more powerful than anybody else you know. <laughs> connect to your energy. Connect to your power. Connect to the universe. Connect to the solar system. Connect to the Blue Avians and to Ashkar. Command and to, if you like, Grukvik Nir or Council of Nine or Light Workers Associations and all the different ones, the Orion Council and and the Dolphin and Whale communities and the Mermaid communities that are out there. There are so many different alliances and federations and committees and conferences and just great ascended masters even. Do not be afraid to connect to them. Protect yourself from the negative and then connect to the positive. This has been encrypted to your governments. They cannot hear this. Wow. Thank you so much. Will you please promise you'll come back and see us again? We would all love to speak to you again. Are you certain? <laughs> yes, absolutely. Very well. For now, That's I awesome. will say goodbye. But not fair. Bye. Thank you for <laughs> joining today. We really appreciate your perspective and your cl clarity that you have provided us. So we love you. Namaste. Clarity is what is necessary, but sometimes is lacking. Mm. Blessings to you. Love and light. Hello? Ooh. Hey. Welcome back. Hi. Gotta have some water. Welcome back, Jim. Take your time. Welcome back, Jim. Thank you. It was a very was interesting, interesting day. <laughs> yes. Yeah, interesting day. Yeah, a Thank lot of information, so I think. Yeah, especially um, the well, all of it I, about the government meetings, about um, the colonies, about uh, all this stuff. And Ashtar Command, I know there's been so much information that's come out. And this is the case for a lot of this higher level stuff. It's, I can tell it. Um, you know, I'm really glad there was clarity today that they helped provide some clarity. So really appreciate good. it. Good. Actually good. Yeah. Um, I know we have a uh, few people that were willing to do some blessings for us. Oh, so. yeah. Do some closing blessings. Blessings. Yeah. Blessings. So I think that would be wonderful. Um, I know that, let's see. Oh, well. Hey, Michelle, you're volunteering for some toning. Please start off. All right.
Ježek. Namaste. These frequencies that connect us all together in every dimension, in every heart, are valuable. We see that the universe is expanding still, and the universes are expanding still, and yet we can reach to the farthest forever in a second with our hearts of love and gratitude. Be filled with that which resonates with you the most. Make sure that your positivity is vibrating always. That was so beautiful. Was that mermaid energy? I don't know. I have no idea. Did you want to talk? Yeah, and you want to say one for you too. Ultimate blessing. I'm sorry. What did you say, Jim? I said Angie's going to do a blessing. Oh, great, Angie! Please go right ahead. We'd love to hear. Did you want to do it? Okay. <laughs> Flames of understanding will fall on you and open your eyes and open your hearts. Flames of the spirit are with you and making you ever lighter and ever more spiritual as you move into a greater realm of understanding and wisdom. But this does not mean that it, you can be any less than you already are but only greater and only more fulfilled by all the things of your heart and all the understandings of your nature. That was beautiful. Thank you, Angie. All right. Uh, Will? Do you want to do one too? Yes. Will? Will, are you? We can't hear you. I saw you unmuted, but. Well, he might be figuring out his something or other. Uh, how about Shaheen in the meantime? You have stirred up much communication between the galaxies. You have stirred up the spirits in all the prophets. And now you have stirred up the truth that is coming directly toward your planet and that will become part of your everyday life. Now let all things activate in the way that it is to be and it is to be recorded forever. That was amazing. Thank you. Wow. Wow. Um, yeah, the wave of truth. It's coming in. It's time. Holy cow. Um, okay, we uh, will. Are you able to speak now? Um, still not hearing you. It shows you as unmuted, but I don't hear you, so I'm sorry. I'm not sure what's going on. Um, 
Hmm, strange. Uh, how about next we have Sarah? Hello, everyone. Hello. Salantana yi soko. Sokonaya tahaya tukani saka. Ishaila tahaye. Naya sokoto ata. Siata kulata yasa. Inakiasa kushua. Maka ai okoto oshata. Shalatoko oshini. Kotola sayakayasa mikalaya soho shokotoi nioko talatanaya utale hutalat ku ushata talanukoto oshana itai si kushutuko ana mokola a ti ukutu ushakata ana. All things are eternally in motion. There really is no stasis. Even if you sit still, your planet is still revolving around the sun. Your solar system still revol revolves around the center of the galaxy. Sit still no longer, for stasis does not exist. Be active and move forward, for your actions may be the actions that save the world or someone in it. Namaste. Thank you. That was so beautiful. Thank you so much. Um, Will, how are you? Can we hear you yet? Can you hear me now? Yes, yes. Oh, yes. Awesome. Oh, wow. Divine timing. <laughs> timing. So uh, Spirit's telling me that Katie and I are going to banter back and forth. So oh, okay. exactly. exactly. It's, it's, it's new for me. Hayekanahoshiwataya <laughs> akanahwasha tisanahutiwata. いかなしやとこしなはたきやとそのよいだやてかまなのちよしな。ひそわかならしやあらたしやとこやちゃわたなあいちしひよとくわ。はさにやかたしやのこしなほやとこやとあやかないかてやととしにあやたかしやのととし
That was amazing. Thank you, Katie. Thank you, Will. Thank you, Jim. Uh, there's a lot more to that story, but that's the part that they set out. That was wow. That was wow. Okay. That was, that was the beginning of a story. Yeah, that was incredible. Yes. Um, so yeah, it's the beginning of a very big story. You're right. It's a, it was a, a very big story. Hmm. Interesting. Well, I we're getting kind of things. Thing. Do a blessing. All righty. Mialua Atimia Soto Shokoya Piana Satoha Pila Asoto Shumi Sikola Ilaramia Sati Shakiala. Mihana ya sata da oro no ho kota ha isia naha. I soto kosho unaha isa hara na nana sa iala hana o koso to o. Sio kuya sete siabla o ya hi e tu kwa i poko siha soto kiha e hoya nea sokwa. Mia sa hao shu u tuhu kuro unaho. Hantaha, mana na na so ro no koto to a na ha isha hanta i anha kata also wa. Miakwa, she haya, se kwe liana, se poa, oya hi i kiwa sasa, se kwe liana niakwa, po olea sako, te po shuya kiasa. Miana hi ki li mia hato to ko shana hi ala. Anna hao ku su tu shu lu hun tu ku a ha ni ki a. La na ya ha mono ho ko sho mono ki sa ta a. Mia kura ki a te ya sa ni to e a te ya sha ko ya la se to ya. O ki a pili ya na e wa e ta si si a la se ki a ya na sa ba. A tu a ka li ya na e ko sha ma ha la. Mia na haka, ao so toto o noho, sho na haka. Namaste. One second, Jim, I accidentally muted you. I'm sorry. Oh boy. Um, sorry, uh, there you go. Yeah, you're good now. Let us begin the chain of events that will proceed through the universe, will capture the earth, and will make it a full and energetic place. There is wisdom and knowledge that you have that will be revealed in the, in the way of discovery through the ancient texts that are still not found. Let us know and discover the universe in a way that is expansive, connective, and continues to rise throughout all eternity. There will never be an end to the wisdom and fire that is humanity. There will never be an end to the expansiveness of your healing properties. Reach out in your thoughts and know in your soul that you are part of this great expansion and this great healing that will heal the universe, but also provide a great service to those who cannot serve themselves. We all understand who we are, but yet, not our value yet. The value of each individual is beyond measure, and you may think it to be small, but there is not one individual that has less value than the brilliance of a sun. Thank you, Jim. 
Amazing. This day. Thank you guys. It's been amazing. Yeah. <laughs> Wendy, can I just that, say the energy is amazing. The, Sorry, yeah. I could just see Wendy moving energy around. I, I could just see it. Sorry she, for um, okay. putting in then. I, that was very moving. That was very moving. That was very moving. Unbelievable. Yeah, it was very emotional. Yeah, it caused a, it caused some energy to really whelm up inside of me. So well, it's interesting way. because this is the last day of 2016, you know, and everything is changing. So wow, unbelievable. New beginnings. Oh, yes. Yes, and did you notice? No T R O L L S. See, I I told <laughs> him. I said we don't need to worry about that today. No. I I said we don't need to worry about it. Don't worry about it. Nope. nope. So I'm just really happy and thankful for everyone who joined today. Thankful for everyone who is watching in the future. I'm thankful for all of the help and assistance we have. We are doing such amazing things. We have to give ourselves incredible amounts of credit, yes. which we don't do often. Each and every one of you watching yes. this room and where you've all been in this last year, where we've been together it collectively, individually, has been absolutely, this is what the, we are waking up to history. We're making new history. Galactic history, <laughs> intergalactic, <laughs> <Just> omniversal <laughs> history. So like, be proud of yourselves, every Please, one of you. If you're watching you. this, I don't care if you, <laughs> if your belief system is deciding to not believe, you're making history by not believing. So, <laughs> you know. That's so How true. true. How true. Yeah, yeah follow your excitement for sure. This is amazing. So, thank you, everybody. And Jim, I'm so grateful, grateful, grateful for you. <laughs> I can't tell you, so I'm just going to say it. Happy yeah. New Year. We love you so much. We Yes, we can't love you, Jim. Thank you enough. <laughs> love you too. I love you all. Uh, it's so good to be here, and I feel very blessed. So, thank you. I think we all do. I really do. This is amazing. So we're going to close out today. Please, 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 everyone go to humancolony.org to keep up to date on everything and just keep walking your own divine. Path. Yes. And Jim, private sessions. Yes. We're always looking. We're doing Reiki all the time. We're looking for oh, volunteers. You reminded me. See? Um, <laughs> before we guys, we have a Girk Fit Near form now which is amazing. We have a place where you can discuss your um, experiences using the scalar field generator, which was a channeled invention um, that it combines Tesla's quantum coil with uh, crystal energy. It projects frequencies to help you in a variety of things, meditation, um, channeling, raising your vibration, the love frequency, um, activating your DNA. It does so many different things. It, you can hook it up with your cell phone. And there's an app. And it's really cool. So please, you can Google Scalar Field Generator. Um, you can go to the Girk Fit Near website. Um, you can just Google And Girk here's what the Octorian version looks like. Wow. There it oh, is. Oh, that's it. Oh, my God. You have it. Check that out. So that is, the, is that the hybrid one? Wow. Yes. This is the one from Peter Hagna. Yes. Mm -hmm. I want one. From Austria. He's from Austria. It's amazing. It's amazing. Yeah, it does really incredible things. And this is what we're looking at. It, it's producing such incredible energy, and it's helping with the messages that come through each week. And as you've, I, I don't know if you've noted it, but if, if the last four times that I've channeled, they've been, the messages have been a much uh, a more evolved. And um, yeah, it's like, yeah. I, I don't take credit for that, but I do tell you that uh, the, the, the generator does help bring the messages in in a stronger and more understandable way. So it's it is yes. what it is 
It's amazing. So please, everybody, if you would like to visit the forum, on the forum there are places where we can even discuss channeled information in general, um, new technology, new research ideas, um, music, uh, d yes. you know, channeled it's, music, a whole bunch of stuff. So It's not helped me with words for friends, however. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jim. <laughs> <laughs> funny. <laughs> okay, well, we won't put that disclaimer, but you know. Okay, so um, yeah, check out the website for the form. The website in general is GIRK, G I R K F I T N I I R dot com. And on that website, you're able to find the form, the research form. Um, we also have a link on our humancolony.org page, I believe. So please check it out. Please tell us your experiences. Tell the world what is going on with the and scalar field generator. Awesome stuff. And also, if any of you can transcribe into another language, that is also needed for some of our people that do not speak English to get some of the messages. I'm, I'm glad that you mentioned possible, that, Jim. Please, We've been please talking about know. this a lot because yes. Ka Carolina has started translating um, some of our videos, Human Colony videos, um, into Spanish. And so we, we'd like to reach out to the world because we are a worldwide community, a global channeling community. Yeah. And so we're, we're encouraging people to not only transcribe these videos, these human colony videos and these channelings from Jim um, into English, and other but people. please yeah. start translating them into other languages uh, yeah. the, of, of your native languages because the messages aren't getting out and things are literally getting lost in translation. And so it, it would be helpful the ascension process if we can get this information out there in people's own native languages you can even if you are listening to a video i don't care who's talking i don't care what any it, channel you like it, <laughs> any you, you resonate with what's coming through write down even a few sentences and you can quickly translate it into a message that's a lot better to get out there than sitting for a few hours whatever you can do you, you know, know that's a really great helpful. point too take a, a nugget yeah and make and post it yeah and give the person credit, of course, but anything we can you do. know what I mean? Just to get it out there. Yeah. So, anyway, um, <laughs> anyway so we should yeah. probably wrap up, but just really um, important information. So, thank you, Jim. Thank you, everyone, for joining. Mm -hmm. And Happy New Year to everyone. Happy New Year, everyone. Happy New Year. And they want to unmute quickly and say Happy New Year. Let's go. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Happy New Year, everybody. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Happy New Year, everyone. Much love. Much love. Love you guys. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. We love you. Namaste. 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 Bye bye.